The number one rule is you do exactly what I say. Number one. Number two, see number one. All right. Well, it's April's first ride of the year. There's a couple of bikes out. Oh, and I'm Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, where we talk riding, rallies, gear, and wrenching. Right now, we're going to go put some non-ethanol fuel in that carbureted bike of hers. Well, we roll around here. We'll uh, play some uh, YouTube background music because I don't want a copyright strike. Y'all can check out my uh, sound system. I don't know how it'll sound, but we can call this a, a spot check. about two places here in this town that you can get a non-ethanol premium and uh, one's a gas station back over that way and it's not terrible but it's always busier and kind of a small lot you gotta fight traffic more we're gonna go down here to the good old MFA unmanned gas station and uh, they got a big lot off the side street hell most people don't even know where it's at and that's where we get our non-ethanol at April only got to ride a couple times last year due to a surgery where she was on restrictions for holding, you know, lifting and stuff like that. So they said no motorcycle. So uh, we're gonna go do a little warm up ride in a parking lot before we get out on the road just to get her feet wet again. I'll even buy your first tank of gas this summer. I was a little nervous. On the interstate or just in general? Premium, unleaded, ethanol free. You want me to fill it up for you too? I said I'd buy your first tank. Now I feel like I'm working at a gas station. Full service and all. Yes ma'am. All right, off for practice session, Biking Life 101. You're good? You're all good? You said just hit the highway and get the fuck out of Dodge? to get some clean roads no cars in front of me but I don't mind not being in a hurry today she's a her maiden voyage for the year so it's kind of about building up her confidence again since she didn't get to ride a lot last year she was a little worried first taking off so we did a little bit of tooling around the parking lot I mean you know I thought she was gonna maybe want to practice a little more than that but she stopped and started on a hill three or four times and said I'm good let's go so Let's go. There's the tunes. Go give Jackson a ride. Do you want to go give Jackson a ride? Okay. So last night we were told by uh, April's sister that her son Jackson 
uh, was dying to go for a motorcycle ride again. I've given him a ride before, and uh, he's got his own helmet, and jacket, and everything. Um, so we're gonna swing by and pick that young man up and take him for a little ride because it's important to bring our youth up watching for motorcycles, knowing that bikers are good people. We're gonna make a young man happy today. Ain't nothing like going for a ride. See if that boy's getting his helmet yet? The dirty biker crew's here. Hello? Where you at? Uh, at the house. Well, me and Mike's here to pick you up. The number one rule is you do exactly what I say. Number one. Number two, see number one. Other than that, you set your butt right here. Stay straight up and down. You don't lean out to the sides. Because you know what happens when you lean out to the side? Your weight makes the bike lean. Get that down under your chin. There you go. Can you make sure that's tight enough for us? There you go. You gotta look sweet in them purple glasses, man. You don't have all the chicks chasing you down. Glasses, pink gloves, you're set, yeah. dude. You just tell them you are not insecure about your manhood. Okay, so you put your left foot there and step up. You grab my shoulders all the way across. There you go. I got a belt loop down here somewhere if you need it. Yeah. What's wrong? Fixing your radio? Okay. All right. She's got her wrapped up like a douche song on. What kind of music do you like, Jackson? Um, uh, pretty much any. Good. Because you better like my music or else you're just going to have to suck it up. Well, we had a good ride today. April's first ride of the year. We picked up Mr. Jackson, and uh, he's about 12 years old. And we took him for a 30 or 40 mile ride. It was actually his uh, second time riding the motorcycle that I know of. I took him for a ride last year, but it was just kind of around a little small loop close to where we were at. It was only maybe a mile or two long at most. So he rode today for good 30 or 40 miles and had a good time he did real good sat back there and just relaxed and he didn't want to be on camera though he's a little shy still so that's all right but what have you done to teach the youth of today about riding motorcycles tomorrow anyway if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you do that youtube thing go out and subscribe to the channel hit that bell to be notified when i drop a new video and as always be safe 
and keep on riding.